hey guys welcome to my channel in today's video we'll look at how we can increase the disk size on our virtual machine running on virtualbox in this case i'm working on a linux mint the method i'm going to use should work on other linux distros such as uh, ubuntu now we'll begin by making a, a setting change on the virtual machine now let me go ahead and uh, go to the settings for this linux mint machine we need to make sure that it's powered off then go to settings just right click on it and go to settings and then under storage you have this uh, vdi and what we need to do is we need to uh, detach it so click on the vdi file and then remove attachment click ok then go to now go to file and then go to tools and then virtual media manager and then you should see the the name of the vdi you you detached it was uh, in our case it was linux mint right here now the virtual size we see now is 22 and we're looking to increase it to increase it you can move this you can scroll this to the right or you can just type it here so let me add one gb here i'm gonna go with the 23 then click apply and then you have to go back to the virtual machine and and then right click on it and click settings go to storage and then under controller click uh select controller and then right here this icon click on it and then hard disk and then select the vdi in our case it's a linux mint dot vdi and as you can see the file as you can see the virtual size increased to 23 gb so select it and click choose and click ok and then you can power on or you can start the virtual machine i'll come back once it's done powering on now i'll go ahead and log into the machine okay i'm logged into the virtual machine here the linux mint virtual machine let's open the disk utility so let me go to the menu here and uh, select and search for disk so this one right here and if we look at the partitions we have one two three partitions and then there's this free space now it says 3.2 because i had initially added initially i added about 2 gb to this machine now once you have it added you can't use it because it's showing us free space now what do we need to do in order to to use this free space let's so let's go ahead and select it so to select it just click on it and then we'll go to this option here the settings for it there's nothing here we can do so let's click on this plus sign to create a new partition okay let's try and go with the partition size click next let's call it test and uh, let's try to create it let's put a password so it's giving us an error it wasn't able to create so it failed in creating uh, the partition so this met method doesn't work let's try another method so we'll go ahead and close this so what i need to do is i'm going to power this off and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to run it using the iso so i'll run into the live environment so i'll go to the settings for the virtual machine and under storage right now the this one is empty the controller ide I'll, so i'll click on it select it and here optical drives i'll click this icon and choose a disk file now you want to select the iso image for that virtual machine this is it for me linux mint iso so i'll select it and click open now it's attached and now i can uh, start this virtual machine and should be able to get into the live environment so i'll click ok start and let's see 
Okay, I'll go with the first option. I'll press enter here. And it should boot into the virtual machine. Okay, we are in the virtual machine and we are in the live environment. As you can see, it's giving us the option to actually install Linux Mint. Um, since we are not doing the installation, we're not going to worry about that. I'm going to open the terminal. And I'm going to open the tool called Gparted, which should give us an option to make changes to the disk. Now we've got a pop-up window here saying, not all the space available appears to be used for SD for this disk, SDA. And it's saying you can fix the GPT to use all of the space. Or you can continue or continue with the current setting. So we'll click on fix. And as you can see here, this is unallocated. OK, at this point, what we need to do is we just select the current disk and then right click on it and do resize slash move. And now we have an option to drag this to the right to the unused space and then we'll click resize slash move. As you can see, we have the entire uh, disk, space, disk space being used now. And then to apply the changes, click on this green check mark. And then it's gonna ask you if you're sure you wanna apply the pending operations, we'll click apply. And it's uh, completed successfully, we can close it. And now we can reboot and detach that ISO image, that way we don't boot from the ISO disk. Uh, we'll boot back into Linux Mint and see if we increase the size of our disk. So I'll close everything and I'll reboot. Okay, I powered off the machine. And before I start it back up, I'm gonna make sure that the ISO image is detached. So I'll go to the settings again, storage, and it's empty, it's no longer attached. So that's okay, I'll start the virtual machine. And again, I'll come back once it's booted up. Okay, I'm back in the virtual machine. Let me go ahead and uh, search for disks. The disk utility. And if I click on this, as you can see now, we no longer have any unallocated space, which means that we are, we've been able to we've managed to extend the disk size and it's showing that it's 25 GB. So whatever that we added has been included in our disk size space. So that's all for this video. I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.